Streamlabs OBS now has studio mode. I'm gonna tell you why you need to switch from OBS to Streamlabs OBS, and we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to learn how to grow your channel, make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. I am really excited about this. I can't wait to show you what's under the hood with Streamlabs OBS. Let's head to the computer and I'll show you right now. First thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to connect it to my YouTube channel because we're here on YouTube. Of course, you can go to Twitch or something else if you like. To do this, all you have to do is log into your account. And the reason for this is because when you get subscriber alerts and things like that, this allows them to let that stuff pop up on your screen. Once you make the switch from OBS to Streamlabs OBS, of course, it's going to ask you to pull in your streams. This is part of the actual setup. It's just a little wizard that's gonna walk you through. All you have to do is pick the actual scene that you want to import. In this case, I'm just going to pick my normal untitled one. I'm going to click import from OBS. Once it imports the scene, it's going to give you the dialogue to let you know that it has successfully imported your scene. Then you click continue. Now, here is where this starts getting cool already. Basically, you have your alert box, event list, the jar, as you can see here. These are basically add-ons to your stream. So it doesn't matter what type of streaming you're doing, all of this stuff can be really, really cool. So as an example, one thing that I really like to use if you watch my live streams is I like to use the alert box. And what this does is this basically shows up on my screen anytime I have a new subscriber while I'm live. So let's say that I'm streaming, somebody comes into the stream, they subscribe to the channel. This gives me a chance to say, oh, hey, such and such just subscribed and actually give them a shout out, welcome them to the stream, which is pretty awesome. So I'm gonna add this widget. And then the other ones, I'll do a deeper walkthrough on these in another video. But for this one, I'm just gonna go ahead and start with the alert box just to give you the example. So as you can see right here, this imported the scene for me. Now, what's really cool about this is if you go over to the scenes, it's already in there and you can switch around just like you would inside of OBS. Now, what's really cool about Streamlabs OBS is that it is not very labor intensive on your computer, which is really, really cool because I'm not sure exactly what the technology is behind it in terms of what they've done to speed it up, but this doesn't do anything to my computer in comparison to what OBS does. OBS is a lot more taxing, so to speak, on my computer. This one just, it's, it's like butter. So what I wanted to show you in terms of the news with Streamlabs OBS is if you go up here to the top, before they didn't have this studio mode here, but now they've introduced studio mode. So just like an OBS, you can basically have your setup scene over here and then you can transition it over just like you would in OBS normally. This was a missing feature, but this for me is what completed the pie. So I've switched to this in my home studio. We've switched to it in the live studio as well, and we are absolutely loving it so far. But let me give you a little tour here and show you what Streamlabs OBS is all about. So right out of the gate, you can see right here all over the screen, um, it's set up just like OBS. So you're already familiar with how to actually use it. If you go into the actual settings, all of this, the same, you're already familiar with how to use this because it's all mirrored exactly on OBS with the addition of a handful of things. In addition to that, you know, you have your hotkeys and all that. So if you wanted to set up some type of external controller, you could, or I have another video about this remote control option. I'll actually put a link to it at the top of the screen right now um, that you should go check out because basically this remote control option that's integrated with Streamlabs OBS, you don't have to have an external switcher anymore. You don't have to spend the money on that. You can just do it right from your phone, which is absolutely incredible. So what I mean by a switcher is instead of you having to actually click on this stuff, you can just trigger it from your phone. But I'll, I'll put the I'll put a link to it at the top of the screen, um, like I mentioned, and down in the description, so make sure that you watch that video as well. And it gives you the walkthrough on how to actually set that up so that you can pair it with your Streamlabs OBS to, to really make the whole thing awesome for you and your viewers. Now, in addition to them having the, the studio mode now, here's some things that OBS doesn't offer, right? Me, I have a graphic design background, so I have the ability to create stuff that looks you know kind of cool for my streams most people don't and because of that if you click on this themes button up here what you're going to see is an entire catalog of all of these different layouts and all these different scenes that you can use to make your live streams look awesome and it doesn't matter if you're doing gaming videos it doesn't matter if you're doing professional style videos or whatever like having the stream starting soon option by itself is fantastic so while you're getting all your tech ready you can use that having the be right back option is also fantastic so that in the event that you have to step away from the computer for a second or something like that it still has you covered one thing that i want to show you here 
is if you look at the animations, right? If you were to create something like this yourself, you'd have to go find the video files, you'd have to put the text together, you'd have to get the whole look together, build the whole brand around, you know, everything that you're creating. And with with the themes that they offer, all this stuff is done for you. All you have to do is click whatever it is that you want and click the style that you want and then bam, you have like a professional looking live stream setup. Now, if you're not a gamer and this gaming background, you know, isn't something that you want, not a big deal. You can change this to your display. You can change this to something like, let's say that you do webinars and you do live trainings on YouTube or anything like that, or any other type of live stream, reaction videos, anything, then you can change this background to video files, to presentations, to whatever it is that you want to change it to. Now, here's something else that's really cool. Let's say that I click on this dashboard tab. If you are a channel, if you have a channel that you are under the 4,000 hours of watch time and the 1,000 subscriber milestones that allows you to monetize your channel when you're live streaming, through Streamlabs OBS, you're able to do that inside of Streamlabs OBS to where you can take PayPal or credit card from your viewers directly. So this is also a way that you can actually make money from live streaming on YouTube or Twitch or anywhere else that you happen to live stream where you can integrate this. And it's super easy. All you have to do is you go into your donation section and then you take this link and then you add this to your descriptions. And then anybody that clicks on this will be taken to a page where they can give you a donation. So if you have not installed Streamlabs OBS yet because they didn't have this studio mode feature, now they have it. And now it's, it's a complete package in terms of if you're an OBS user, but you want your computer to run smoother, you need to install Streamlabs right now. If you are somebody that wants to take your live streams as far as how they look up a level in terms of all of the different themes and things like that they have, you need to install Streamlabs right now. Because just like OBS, they have all the different scene stuff that you can do, and then they have all of these additional things. Let me, let me show you one of these widgets in action, actually. I'm going to go to my sources here, and I'm going to click on a new source, and here I'm going to add the alert box, okay? So I have the alert box added to this particular scene, and I'm just going to hit add existing source, and what you're going to see up here is you're going to see basically where the alert would be. And you can also see, like if you move this stuff around, you can see that, you know, they give you the dimensions where you can center things up real easy and you can move them around to where you can scale this stuff around, you know, as, as much as you want to really. But here's what I want to show you is here down here in the bottom, I can click on test widgets and you just click on the subscriber and then you're going to see here, it's going to pop up and then it's going to show you exactly where it's going to be. So in this case, if you added this to your streams, even if you had a live stream to where you're just showing just this and nothing else, but you have this, this gives the people that are subscribing to your channel while you're streaming a chance to be highlighted and it brings it to your attention so you can actually give them a shout out, welcome to the stream, welcome to your channel and all that. So all the way around, Streamlabs OBS is absolutely just phenomenal and I highly recommend that you install it right now. I'll put a link down in the description for that. And remember also, I'll put, have that link down in the description to go check out the video that I did on the Streamlabs remote as well. You're really gonna love that. And if you wanna learn more about growing your channel, making videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.